What's up, all y'all people in TV land? Good man feel today. Today's episode is we taking off the bumper on the 2008 to 12 Chevy Impala, putting that uh, plastic insert on there that holds the headlights from shaking and a little clipping all that so first step man it's kind of mixed up and jumbled up but you know just pay attention to the video man we're gonna we're gonna be all right today y'all let's get you gonna need a old cheap sorry or good soldering gun because that old funny flimsy uh plastic bumper might break or might chip where you mount where it screws in and then you're gonna need this old uh upholstery pry thing to Pry them push pins off. Of course, you're gonna need that 10 millimeter deep socket. This long quarter inch extension. If you got two of them about this length, you might wanna pull them out because you're gonna need them. To do it like that, you're gonna need a little quarter inch baby ratchet. All right. dog face flathead screwdriver uh this one too big like a p1 is fine something like this to guide the little push pin hole thing back when you're lining the screws up on the bumper then you're gonna need two of these when you are pushing the screws through the front bumper holes so you line up right, and you're gonna need this little, this little thing right here. This is a 932. You're gonna need this for the headlights and the top bumper boat, okay? And then uh, you're gonna use that old 10 millimeter. All right, let's get it. And of course, you're gonna need your little baby impact wrench, you know, screwdriver, drill, whatever you wanna call it. You got an impact, grab it. If not, be prepared to make to spend all day fooling with this stuff, man. Okay, so it's two uh, most important screws that's holding on your bumper. And it's this one. It's just a 10 millimeter. And behind this old sorry splash shield, it's another one. It's uh, right there, you see it? It's a 10 millimeter as well. So you're gonna need a 10 millimeter deep socket and extension. This. So quarter inch is all quarter inch all right all right so we're just gonna loosen these up you're gonna take these screws out and then you'll slide the bumper forward i'll show you hang tight all right so once you got them two screws out see this you're gonna pull this bumper forward it's gonna jump out but remember you gotta take all this other stuff off like your headlight screw and you see the headlights, they got this old ignite thing on them. So it goes in and sit in this location here. So that's why you gotta loosen the screw and you pull the headlight forward, you know. Once you pull the white plastic thing and everything else off. All right, so when you got that screw out, this is all you do. Take your little gorilla hand, <laughs> pull it, see? thing come down. You do the same thing on both sides. Now see we're replacing that black plastic piece to go here. Alright, see how I got it all busted and destroyed. Rock out, they're gonna charge about fifty-five dollars in shipping. The part ain't but like sixty, but they're gonna blow you out the water with shipping. Hey y'all, here it is. Came all the way from Taiwan. Look at that. For shipping, Chip Chilios and Paul Monte Carlo. It's the front bumper absorber assembly. 
Okay, that's the original GM parts number. For people that want, oh, I gotta have everything original from the factory. That's all that, man, shut up, get out of here, man. Everything all made in Taiwan, they just put it in a different box and scribble on it different. Maybe I like ordering parts just to open them up to see what's in there. Come with both pieces. See? There it is. And if you get it in the junkyard, they're gonna charge you for both pieces. If you get it from Rack Auto, they're gonna show you some love and some mercy. You know what I'm saying? And see, when I be working on stuff, remember you always take the screws that came out the same hole and put them back in there. If I'm not doing everything on the same day, I just take everything off and put the screws back where they go. That way you don't lose them. You don't have to keep up with them. Uh, same thing right here. So, so you take your piece of cardboard, you get your little Sharpie, and you take your little pocket knife, and you cut you some X's all the way through in the cardboard. Not too big, not too deep. And then you take your Sharpie, and you just draw, you just sketch your little diagram, how everything looking, where everything gonna both up at. All right, you see that? Left headlight, right headlight. And that's basically what you're looking at. So you're gonna take the screws out the car now, and then you're gonna insert them in the cardboard box. All right, so the new piece come with this bracket. And you're gonna take them two side screws there, insert this bracket on, slide the bump on. You don't break this piece off from here. You probably can, but I wouldn't. You snap this little corner piece in here, right? All right, little peckerhead people from Planet Edom. So, that front lip folds up, not down. So you really don't have a lot of screws. You got these two, put them two in. This holds that bracket in place. Now, right here, you got one there, and then you got one there on both sides, of course. And then these go in there, they just clip on there like that. And it is on there, man. You know? That's all it is to it. Chap, so if you're wondering what the deal was, the headlights wouldn't sit right, wouldn't aim right because this was broke on the other one. And I tried the plastic wheel, the JB wheel, and whatever wheel, and it wouldn't do right. So I had to get this whole piece. That's what's gonna keep your headlights in place, aimed properly, so you can see at nighttime. All the so crap broke, man. <laughs>